and uh, then we moved on to Pulu. So this is another of my favourite little villages. We went for a walk around. Here at Pulu there are a couple of cafes. One at uh, the road that we're on at the moment, which uh, takes you out on a nice stroll by the lock, Lock U. And another at Pool House, uh, which is called North by Northwest Cafe. And I've taken some pictures for you, which will appear shortly. And we went to see if the house was open for tours at Poolu. It wasn't until the weekend. Um, this is the North by Northwest Cafe. Very unusual. In Poolu, there's some limited parking down here by the river, which is just over the bridge. And uh, on the way out to Pulu Hotel and Red Point, there's also some limited parking there. And Pulu also has a community hall and that has two car parks. And uh, there is very small amount of parking at Pool House. Uh, the tours this time is a Mary Queen of Scots exhibition as well as house tours on certain days. But the day that I was there, uh, the house tour wasn't on. And Pulu Hall opposite has a lovely craft market on a Tuesday. I have been fortunate enough to attend there many times in the past. There's also a book and button boffy, which I think is open most days. And so after enjoying our walk around the village and a cup of coffee at the North by Northwest Cafe, thanks to you who have uh, bought me coffees on buymeacoffee.com, then we uh, carried on and went to the National Trust Inveru Gardens, literally just at the end of the road. Hi guys, it's Pam here from Camper Jazz and uh, this morning we have left Gearlock 
Yesterday we went to Poolew and Inverview Gardens and we've moved on and at the moment we're parked on the hill above All Peter and uh, just down on the shore below us is the submarine refuelling station. There it is. Uh, there's a definite wartime and maritime feeling about this area and they have uh, put different plaques up so that you can see this one was the gentleman staring out to sea and some lovely views from up here too so we've had a lovely few days here on the west coast doing the NC 500 and uh, we're just going to drive down into the village and have a drive through and a little park up uh, so you can see what the village is like. And they have a very well stocked little store here, um, much larger than it looks from the outside, carrying uh, really good lines of food and general consumables. All right, we're going to just go and have a little park up uh, by the slipway. I've been here before, so I know where that is, uh, as I need to take the doggies for a little walk. And... Uh, then we'll be moving on further. We're moving back out through the village now. Um, I left the camera on, so I might as well uh, show you the footage. And then we'll be carrying on along the northwest coast. And I'm not sure where our next stop is going to be. So um, just come along and enjoy the drive with us. leaving the village uh, on the left hand side of the road you have the Atlantic Convoy Museum if you've not stopped there before really interesting I have been in the past so I didn't go this time and uh, yeah it, it's well worth a look around And in a moment, we're just going to turn off and go to another favourite beach, Melon Adrigal. Now there's a little uh, planked jetty to walk along, pathway, down to the beach. And you'll soon see why it's another of my favourites. Uh, just dotted around a few little houses in the community. A small parking area. And also a small 
campsite to the side of that. Um, I think you have to phone the number there to book in. But you will see what a pretty little beach this is. got one side of it which is just all flat lovely white sand and then to either side um, you've got rocks and there's a lovely area with rock pools too but another beach that nobody seems to want to go to And we're just going to carry on moving up the west coast and see what else we come across of interest. And this part of the coast never fails to make you stop and want to take pictures. There are plenty of uh, parking areas and viewpoints here where you can get out and it's well worth the effort to stop if there's a parking place. I hope you've enjoyed this latest video. If so, give it a like, share it with your friends on social media and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.